the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures welcomes you to Mini Music. In this video, we're getting the band together to explore some of the fine scale miniature instruments in our collection and discover the amazing artistry that goes into each creation. Just about anything you can imagine in full scale has been made in miniature, and that goes for musical instruments. TM's collection includes many fine scale miniature instruments made by artists who insist on getting every detail correct. You can't miniaturize sound, but that doesn't stop the artists from making these tiny instruments with working parts. Check out a few of these instruments in our collection. Harpsichords look like pianos with keys and strings, but they work a little differently. When you play a piano, the strings are hit with hammers, but when you play a harpsichord, the strings are plucked like a harp. This little Flemish harpsichord is only six and a half inches long and is one twelfth the size of a full size one. It has a beautiful carving of a mermaid between the front posts and there's a vivid painting of a musical contest on the inside of the lid. It was made by an artist named Johannes Landman who challenged himself to create a functioning instrument. You heard right, it actually works. Even though you can't miniaturize sound, Landman made a tiny tuner to tighten the strings. This harpsichord can be found in the fine scale miniature galleries. Inside this old full size violin, artist Foster Tracy used 18 different kinds of wood to create a miniature violin maker's workshop from the 18th century. There are five violins, one viola, and a cello with all the correct parts and strings. The bows are strung with human hair. The violin maker's bench is scattered with working tools and bottles and jars that contain real pigment, rosin, varnish, alcohol, and glue. The violin maker's shop was made around 1982 and you can find it in the Fine Scale Miniatures Gallery. These miniature parts would be used to make a 1 12th scale violin. The chin rest measures 1 16th of an inch. Can you imagine all the work that goes into making such a small instrument? These pieces were made around the year 2000 by Ken Manning and can be found in the Artist Studio exhibit. Ken Manning specializes in making miniature instruments and he also made this concert grand harp which has lavishly painted cherubs and portraits of women by Johannes Landman. This harpsichord has 47 strings and 7 brass pedals. The strings can be plucked but it doesn't sound like a regular harp. It was made in 1996 and can be seen in the Fine Scale Miniatures Gallery. This ukulele took Ken Manning 40 to 50 hours to create. It has inlay around its sound hole, four nylon strings, and brass tuning pegs. It's made from Hawaiian koa wood. Here's one more instrument by Ken Manning, but this one is a little more modern. It's a replica of a solid body electric guitar that was made by Gibson and named after the famous jazz, blues, and country musician Les Paul. Manning's miniature replica is just three and three quarters inches. The body is red with white trim, it has six strings, and the pegs and finger markings are made of brass. Most of the instruments in this case are made by Manning. Take a close look. What other instruments do you see? Did you spot instruments like the saxophone or the French horn? Manning's instruments can be found in the miniatures gallery at the museum. Artist Thomas Warner created an authentic upright piano from the 1840s for his Belcher style parlor in the miniature maze. He based it on a piano from the John Warnell House, a historic house museum right here in Kansas City. The replica Steinway is made out of rosewood. The legs are a style called cabriole because they curve, and the piano's knees are heavily carved. Here's a behind the scenes look at the intricate strings inside the lid. Just imagine the skill required to create such a detailed, tiny work of art. Now that you've heard all about these miniature instruments, test your knowledge with this quiz. True or false, sound can be miniaturized. Miniature instruments do not sound like full-scale instruments because you can't miniaturize sound. Even though the miniatures include all the right details, you can't make music with them. 
How does a harpsichord make its sound inside the instrument? A. The strings are struck with a hammer. B. A bow is drawn across the strings. C. Air is blown across the strings. D. The strings are plucked. When you play the keys of a harpsichord, the strings are plucked inside the instrument to make sound like a harp. How long does it take Ken Manning to create one of his fine scale miniature ukuleles? A. 20 to 30 hours. B. 30 to 40 hours. C. 40 to 50 hours. D. 50 to 60 hours. Ken Manning typically takes 40 to 50 hours to create a miniature ukulele. What did Foster Tracy use to string the bows for the miniature violins in the violin maker's shop? A. Horsehair B. Fishing line C. Dental floss D. Human hair Full-size violin bows are traditionally made out of horsehair, but horsehair was too big for the miniature bows, so Foster Tracy used real human hair for the miniature bows in the violin maker's shop. Thanks for joining us for this tm to go video. Now that you've explored our collection, download the instructions to create your own lid guitar. Don't forget to share your creation with us on social media and share the activity with your friends. We'll see you next time.